Senator Dean Heller with me now from the Hill. How are you doing, Senator? And good morning to good, you today. Thanks I, for having I, me on your show. I, how high is this going to go? Two hundred billion? What, are you okay with that? The uh, two hundred billion dollars in what, Bill? In the tariffs, the threat oh, that we in the got tariffs. tonight. What do you hey, think? You got to understand. You got to understand where this president's coming from. He says we have an eight hundred billion dollar trade deficit right now. What do you have to lose? And I'm going to give him a wide berth on these issues right now. I think he's just trying to send a message to China and the rest of the world um, that uh, this can't continue. This cannot continue. Are you okay? You know, when you think about the folks back in Nevada, are you think about a trade war? I don't know if you would go there just just yet. But yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah. you, you just said it. I mean, you think you can get a better deal. How and what does it look like? Well, this is a reason the guy's president of the United States today. He was the only one that was talking uh, during his campaign on both immigration policy and tariffs. This is why Reagan Democrats voted for this guy. It's because he said, hey, you're one, one, you're losing your jobs, and two, if you have a job, uh, your, uh, your pay isn't increasing. This is the direction uh, that this president said he was going to go, and he's just keeping his promises. So he's sending messages around the world saying, hey, no more, no more, no more piggy bank for the rest of the world. No, no moss, huh, <laughs> on, the, on the trade deal. Uh, d does this go on for weeks? or months this well I, I just hope they get the message look at the message we sent to North Korea and they came to the table look at the message he's sending to China and I believe they'll come to the table hopefully within weeks and not months but uh, what this president has done for this economy uh, you mentioned in your opening has just been incredible I just got a report back from the governor's office last week that we're now creating 40,000 jobs per month in the state of Nevada. No state has benefited more from the uh, jobs cut, uh, the Jobs Act and the uh, tax cuts than the state of Nevada. So we're, we're moving in the right direction. Is that so? With this how, how is that? I mean, how, how would the folks, in a, I know you're running on this, Republicans as yes, a party, you know, five absolutely. months from now, you're going to sell this tax reform plan. How has it helped Nevada? Well, first of all, um, I, I, and when I speak to large groups in the state of Nevada, I tell everybody, take a look at your pay stub. Take a look at your pay stub today and compare it to last year. And, and the promise is, is that it, there will be more. For the average family, middle class family in the state of Nevada, it's $2,500 a year more. Plus, at the end of the next year, beginning of, end of this year and beginning of next year, uh, your uh, tax rates are going to be lowered. So they will benefit. And uh, this is helping people keep more money in their wallets, helping them spend, helping them send their kids to college, helping them put food on the table, you name it. Yeah. That's what this uh, uh, tax you know, and jobs act is doing. The, the other side, Democrats certainly are going to have a say in all this, as you know. They, they put out something this past hour, the Democratic Congressional Campaign Committee. They're saying they had their best month of May ever, uh, 11 million raised. Right. What right. do you think? Well, well, on top of that, of course, they're calling all these tax cuts crumbs. My opponent is calling it crumbs, and, and that's fine because the Nevadans know different. But it, it doesn't matter if you raise $11 million in a month if you don't have good candidates. And right now, DCCC and uh, the Senatorial Committee does not have good candidates in Nevada. No, y your point is you're running toward this tax reform bill. Absolutely. Absolutely. No state. Now, let me repeat that. No state has benefited more. Uh, from the uh, Jobs Act and tax cuts in the state of Nevada. It's going to be a hot race. Senator, hope you come on back, okay? Dean Heller from Nevada. Thank you. Thanks, on the Bill. Hill today, you bet. Good to have you on our program. Thanks. Thank you. Senator.